Hello Taurus. This is your monthly soulmate reading for January. Happy New Year's. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign. We're going to do a Celtic cross. If you are new to the channel, thank you for coming. Welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And we will see what's going on for my Taurus friends for January. What's going on for Taurus? Please show me. Taurus. Let's see. I just lay the cards out first and then we will turn them over and go over them. All right, guys. Let's see what's, what's going on around you guys, knowing the truth about something. Um, I feel like a lot of you have like, have received like this aha moment. Um, like there was something that you didn't realize before, but now you do. It's like being awakened to some new information. And it probably was there all along, but, um, but now it's like the blinders have come off is what I'm feeling, okay? Your challenge is to feel confident um, in yourself and feel confident that whatever it is that you have an inner knowing about, um, to know that you're on the right track with that is what I'm feeling. To feel confident in what, whatever, whatever it is that you feel like you know the truth surrounding, um, know that it is what it is, okay? And that's just what I'm feeling. Because that is what your challenge is as far as um, what it is that, that you know, that what, what's been revealed to you, you know. Let's see, how you're seeing yourself is, um, I feel like you're wanting a commitment at this point. So being that your challenge is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is also um, being single, being content and being single. Um, I think your challenge is if this is truly what you want us to be single Because this is how you're seeing yourself. I'm sorry Ten of Cups This is somebody that wants um, a Fulfilling commitment with someone else So that that would be challenging especially if you have resigned yourself um, to the fact that, you know what, I'm going to be by myself, I'm happy by myself, and, um, but now it's like, wait a minute, <laughs> do I want to be with someone else? Is there someone else that has sparked your interest? Is there someone else that, that you just met that has sparked your interest? Let's see. Okay, so this is this is like the foundation of, you know, why this is happening. Why are you here at this point? I feel like you had you needed some time to kind of regroup, take time out, um, see where you are in life, see where you want to go in life. And I feel like now you're coming out of this four of swords where um you had to evaluate what actually happened here in the Three of Swords, you know, that that made you want to take a time out, that, um, that you had to just kind of sit back and think about, like, adjust to your surroundings, maybe, adjust to a different way of doing things, you know? Hmm. I feel like this this is you exactly like taking time out to adjust excuse me adjust to a new way of doing things a new way of thinking a new way because a source are thinking or thoughts it's like evaluating your own thoughts like you know is this the right thing to do did I do the right thing back there or when I were when I was interacting with this person or in this situation that is what this is okay because in the in the recent past it's like you stuck to your guns whatever it, this is your card whatever whatever you felt like um, 
I feel like you felt strongly about it. Whatever you felt, you felt strongly about it and you were unwavering regardless. There was nothing anybody could say to talk you out of it. Um, what you believed is what you believed and that was just it. You know, and that's a real Taurus way of doing things. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. <clears throat> that's a real Taurus way of doing things. And um, let's see the best possible outcome. Look at that. Hmm. And these these two cards are are synonymous in that they're they are very confident in who they are. The only thing is the Knight of Pentacles is single. The Queen of Pentacles is not. Okay? That is the difference. That is the best possible outcome. This right here. Okay? What's coming in towards you is making that decision. You have to choose. You have to choose whether or not you want to accept um, somebody's love offer or be single. You have to choose. Now the thing about judgment is a lot of times, a lot of times, let me mix these cards up. This means you're bringing something back a lot of times. Does not have to be. Sometimes this is just answering a call, what you feel in your heart that you want to do. Scorpio energy here. Hmm. This is in your um, outside influence. I feel like there's somebody, this is not only a card of being left out in the cold. This is a card um, also that speaks of being with someone through thick and thin if you can i'm sorry i don't even know where the freaking lens is you see those two people they're there together this is this is being with somebody through the good times and the bad times so for me especially with with these cards being like this because the hierophant is also um marriage okay this is deciding that you want to be with someone through the good times and the bad. Okay? That's, but this is somebody I feel like is feeling this way, either feeling this way about you, could be another earth sign like yourself, Taurus, or um, you're feeling this way about somebody. Okay? Hmm. You don't want somebody that's going to be stubborn. This is this is in your hopes and fears. Um, you don't want somebody that's going to be closed off, you know, not expressive with their feelings, um, you know, not tell you that they love you when they do, if they do. You want somebody to be open with you. You also want exclusivity. I don't know why I'm just, I'm getting that. Maybe you didn't have that before. Maybe that was an issue. Maybe somebody did not want commitment before. Now they're ready to commit. Maybe you didn't want commitment before. Now you're ready to commit. That's what it is. You want to be exclusive with somebody. You wanted to be single initially. But now, you want to be exclusive with someone here. Be there for them through thick and thin, thin and them, you. Outcome is that you will offer. You will offer something to somebody who you have a lot of feelings for. It's like this overwhelming, um, this overwhelming flood of emotions that you have for this person. But the funny thing is, and now this could go vice versa. This could be someone else. 
but what I'm seeing here is Taurus this looks like you this looks like you're having this this overflow of emotions feeling this for someone and I think that's too what you have realized here I think that's what also what you have realized here is that, wait a minute, you know, this is the person that I want to be with. This is really the person I have all these feelings for. They, they are the person. Like, and they have been all along. The blinders are off. All right, guys. So, my Taurus friends, that's what I have for you guys for January. And I will be speaking with you soon. Bye now.